that you're all asking yourselves. Hey, why is Camelon making this video? Wait a minute, is that a blanket? Is that his room? Is that his arm? Why, yes, this is my arm. Cool, isn't it? So anyway, yeah, I am making a video about stuff. Just, you know, sitting here talking about stuff, I guess. This isn't really a rand video so much. I'm not focusing on anything. It's just, I, I just, I'm recording something that has no real intent or purpose. It just exists for all the world to see. As, I don't know, legacy? Nah. I guess part of it is I'm bored. The other part is I'm feeling creative, so whatever. What I was, what I wanted to talk about really was I really don't know. I really forgot. I forgot what I was going to talk about. I had something really good to talk about. I thought, oh, this is an amazing topic. They'll totally want to hear about this. They'll totally click on my video link and look at this and subscribe because they'll think, oh my god, this guy is amazing. But I forgot. So we're going to go on some crappy ass other thing that's not going to be nearly as good as this. So anyway, back to the uh, crappy ass thing. Um... It's amazing that humans have existed so long on this planet. I mean, we've almost wiped ourselves out. We're cutting down the rainforest, you know, stuff like that. Wiping out all the oxygen on the planet. Except that the planet couldn't care less. All these idiots out there talking about, oh, global warming, oh, climate change, oh, all the trees are getting cut down, and all the... All the greenhouse gases in the air are going to kill us all. No. Are you kidding me? If you really think that, just put a bullet in your head and save me your whining. God. So annoying. Basically, these guys are idiots. The Earth. Let's say this fist is the Earth. You would be so small that you would basically look like you wouldn't exist at all. So, really, I guess what I'm talking about is we have such a little, tiny effect on the planet as a whole that it doesn't even matter. It doesn't even affect it. This planet has existed for six billion years. Six or seven billion years. The age of this planet nearly exceeds the population. And I think that's impressive. I mean, impressive in such a way. Once on a program on the science planet, I heard that if the entire history of the world was compared to a 12-hour clock, then... All of that clock would be just a build-up, and the last, I don't know, five minutes would be all of human history. Tiny. Minuscule. So small that it might as well be nothing. And you really think we can change the climate completely and screw up the planet. The planet couldn't care less. Honestly, it, it doesn't care. It it, it it won't be affected by us. It'll never be affected by us. We're just too small. We're just we're tiny. Tiny, tiny little things in this vast, unending universe. Star, planet. Nah, I'm not going to go off these things. Basically, I'm just going to return to the topic. Um... 
really, you know how much of the carbon in the air is produced by us? One percent. One percent. One. No more than one percent. That's almost nothing. Most, 99 percent of all carbon in the air is produced by volcanoes, by sea volcanic vents, by chemical reactions in water and just general chemical reactions producing carbon dioxide, by forest fires and coal fires, stuff that we, that we, most of it, that we didn't even cause. In fact, some of it which is beneficial to the existence of some plant and animal, fauna and flora, entire species that rely on these vines. And yet we claim that these are all important. Basically, it's going back to the age in which the sun, the moon, all the planets, and every star in the universe orbited around Earth. They were idiots back then. That was right after they thought the Earth was flat. And that the stars were all holes poked into some sort of universal black velvet cloak or something. And then the sun was some sort of giant fire in the sky or something. Which was not all that far from the truth. It's just they believed it was a bigger hole than the rest. So basically people are idiots. That's just what I'm getting to. General people are not Generally, people do not view things in the way that they could and should. Simply because we're just too narrow-minded. We're just too narrow-minded. We can think along a specific path, but beyond that, not a clue. Most of the time. I don't claim to be one of those people that can think off that path. Maybe I can, maybe I can't, maybe I'm just spouting ideas, I don't know, but the, the point is, humans could have no sense of stuff. The planet, if we were all wiped out today, all of us, gone, the planet would recover. In, in fact, it'd be as if we'd never existed at all. A pathetic small level existence is not enough to affect the planet in any sort of a permanent way. Ever. In the history of the future of the world, will, be, will we be able to permanently affect the planet? Incredible, really, if you look at it that way. So small. And we think of the wrong waste our time on war, and with cooperation, we could, we'd probably already be living on the moon if we all cooperated. And then there's science, technology, all these things, all, everything could be improved, could be so much improved. Gonna get wiped out, or at least near by something eventually. That's not me hopelessly spouting. Oh no, it's the end of the world. It's Judgment Day. God is gonna rain fire down from the sky. No, it happens in every species. It's it's the extinction moment. There's the dinosaurs. Meteorite blew them all up. Lots of species underwent environmental changes. It's a theory called softening up the beachhead. Basically what happens is a species undergoes an extreme environmental change. They adapt to it. And then there's another extreme environmental change which wipes them out. We don't know why it happens. 
actually, by all logic, they should get tougher because of the climate changes and stuff. And they should be more likely to survive. But instead, they don't. So, they just all, you know, die. And really, that makes no sense to me. It makes no sense to scientists either that can't figure it out. Um, so anyway, I'm going to end this video here. I'm going to talk more in the next video.